So to reset, we simply take, lift up this, this blue lever, and we want to reset the chip, because the little indicator tells us that, uh, let's say, the yellow cartridge needs to be, needs to be replaced. Well, we're not going to replace the yellow cartridge. We're simply going to top it up, which we've done, and we're going to reset the chip. Now, the way to do that, now, and this particular cartridge, you can actually tip it up quite successfully because there's no, there's no breather, uh, breather holes to, to leak. So long as we've got the little, as long as we've got the little uh, uh, um, plug on this side, we can quite safely bring the, bring the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the cartridge up on its end. Now, this little resetter that comes with the kit, it's got a little recess there, and we can, we can hook it up underneath and it goes to this side. So we're going like this, and we're pushing it in. There we are. So what's happened is that the, the red light flashes, and then it's steady, and it goes green. Once we've got a steady green light, we've reset the chip. We can then bring the cartridge back into the printer. Bring the little blue lever down and the indicator uh, indicates a full, a, a full position. Now in production, I mean these machines they go through a lot, of, a lot of paper and a lot of ink, in production what we tend to do is run the printer and keep a visual check on the amount of ink that we've got here. Now I can see quite clearly that this printer here, that we've got a level there, we've got a level here, level there, level here and across here, all of these are pretty well got plenty of ink in them, so we've, we, we haven't got to worry there about the actual physical amounts of ink that are in the printer. We leave the printer for about 10 minutes before we start to print, just to allow, uh, allow the inks to settle, you know, after we've, after we've replenished, and then we can do our production run. Now, um, you keep an eye on your, your, uh, your, your indications there, because the basic function of the machine hasn't been changed. This, these little indicators will still run down to zero and then it will say, oh, I can't print any longer. So if that happens, remember, we have to take out one of the cartridges, whichever the cartridge that we have to reset. We go through the reset procedure, put it back in, and then we're fine. Uh, any questions about these procedures, uh, please contact us. That will be sales at license.com and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks very much for watching.